igual, entonces busca tu control, tu agarre y tira. Well, my name is Natasha Hernandez. Uh, I was in the national team in Venezuela back in the 80s. I was uh, for 10 years part of the national team and I was or have been the only world champion uh, for Venezuela. So it's something that I'm proud of. And uh, after a break, I mean, I took a, a long break in my life uh, from judo. I was, you know, raising my kids, uh, uh, traveling with my husband. He has a career, a professional career. So, but now it's, it was my time to come back. So I'm training here at Westlake Judo and I couldn't be more happy. Than so, now. so do you like the way that we train? We train. I love it. I love it because I could remember my time when I was at Yudoka in Venezuela. I had the opportunity, uh, the good luck to train with a very good Japanese sensei. So it's very much alike. You know, the all the 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 philosophy that's that I love from Yudo. It's be a martial art, the respect and at uh, the the friendship that you can find here, it's, uh, for me, it's very important. It's very homely, right? We have it's kids very homely, all. definitely. And since the little kids to the, you know, the big guy, uh, I've been, you know, feeling very welcome. I'm a psychologist from Venezuela, so when I was there, uh, my, you know, my dream was to be able, because I knew as an athlete, the importance to have a sports psychologist to your side. I think it's the extra thing that you have. You have all the skills, the physical, and all the opportunity that you have, but your mind is not prepared to that kind of anxiety and that kind of stress that the competitions give you. Uh, you're gonna, I mean, sometimes you're gonna not be prepared to, to for, you know, that time. So I believe that when I was competing, so my dream was to be able to help the other athletes and the teams uh, as a sports psychologist. So I had that opportunity in Venezuela. I used to work with the, the National uh, Sport Institute in Venezuela as a psychologist. And uh, well, yes, I helped the teams over there. So I traveled with them. Uh, I had the, uh, a lot of karate um, players that I so helped. You, you, you were all over the world. I was. Training, I mean, yes. tell me some of the countries that you've visited oh representing Venezuela. <laughs> a lot, I mean. Tell me, tell all me. All South America, a lot of countries in Europe. Well, I won the World Championship in Vienna, in Austria. Uh, several cities here in the United States, um, Canada. A lot, so that was a very good time. And you were young, you were... Well. I was young, I was young because I started to compete uh, as an adult. Uh, I was 13 years old. But uh, I, at that time I had the, the same size yeah. and high and so everything, how, I was big. How old so were you when you won the world championship? 18. I was 18 when I, wore, uh, when I won. And and I retired 22. So everybody was saying, "Oh my God, you are in your peak and blah blah blah." But you know, in in our country, it's very difficult to keep with your sports and your career. For me, it was very important my career, my dream as a sports psychologist. So I was in the middle of my career uh, at that time. So uh, it's you know, you have another goals in life. And at that time, I I think I. I reached, I have reached all my goals at that time, so. And you were very young. What, what got you into judo? Uh, you're from Venezuela and of all things judo. Yeah, no, not the big sport over there. You know, in, in Venezuela, the big sport is baseball. Uh, but um, I don't know, I, my, I have some cousins that practice judo and my, one of my uncles told my dad I was very energetic, supposed to be very energetic at, at seven years old. So, well, uh, they asked me, hey, do you like this sport? And I say, okay, yes. And I started, and I think I had the, the good luck to have very good instructors. I think is, that is very important to have when you're a kid. If you have a very good instructor, you're gonna, you know, keep doing it. 
So you know, one of the things that's a secret, uh, I think. Uh, about being a sports psychologist, and one of the things that I often notice, and I never did it because I came from a bad neighborhood, but a lot of the kids, when they don't win, they start crying. And what? I did too. <laughs> I did too. I mean, I cry a lot and you have to keep doing it. If you, I think at, at that time I thought I want to be better. I want to be better. So never give up, never give up, never give up and continue to do it. And I enjoy my training, my training sessions. I, I really enjoy it. My, my instructor, my senseis try to do it like a play, you know, also. So you do judo, but you do, you know, your games and you're enjoying and you're, you know, it's, it was very good for me. So maybe it's my personality also that you, I, I, I always very, have been very competitive with myself. I mean, with myself. So judo I want to be better than before. So judo is a personal sport. More it's than personal a sport, yes. Personal tell, sport, tell but it. I think it's personal sport. But you count of your team. You count of your coaches. You believe in your teammates. You believe in the, the support system that it comes with it. But of course, you have to compete with yourself and try to be better each day of your life. And, and I think it has been my philosophy since forever, even for my, the rest of my life, with my kids, with my life, with everything that I do, I want to be better each day. You know, and, and that philosophy, I think, uh, Judo gave it to me. I also, I, 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 everybody always, they, they tell me, oh, judo becomes a way of life. It is. It is definitely a way of life. I, I mean, my life, even though, as I told you, I was in a different path because my, my husband and my family and my kids and everything, I think judo stayed with me the whole time and the philosophy and the values that I give to my kids is you know have to be very related with the judo philosophy that I learned in the in the very beginnings of my my life so definitely is a way of life and now I'm here again so I'm feeling happy it has been very you know a blessing we have a lot of little kids over here as you can hear them I see you know, and they they just love it you know they have more fun on the mats afterwards you know how beneficial is this for young children to develop their minds oh of course uh, physically I, I believe in sport as a activity very important to the kids for their you know to whoa to you know to canalize their energy to be more healthy um, it's very important and judo i don't know it gives you the opportunity for some values some discipline some respect so values that i think are very important to to live your life so for the kids it's very 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 important i think i, I started as a kid seven years old when i started so i believe in judo so i love judo you know judo is more popular in in europe in asia and Anywhere else other than America. In America, judo almost does not exist if there weren't any little clubs like this. So every time we, we get people from all over the world. And everybody is welcome over here. That's one of the good things about Westlake Judo. Everybody is welcome. If you respect the sport and you respect the dojo and its people, you're welcome here.